Okay, so first shop is proving expensive already. So Levi's shirt is check, but it's ten pound. Like, I think these barely sell for like twenty pound now, something like that. Because Levi's is a bit saturated, but yeah, it's it might be one of those days. It might be an expensive day, but we we'll keep looking. And this Ralph Lauren's seven pound, which is rare. Normally, the Ralph is always priced higher in shops like this, but it's okay but again the reason why i won't pick up anything for seven pound but if you were thinking about it 15 and a half should put you off it's a smaller size and this is quite a generic shirt so they take a long time to sell so we're not gonna even if i even if i was gonna pick it up if i was gonna pick it up i wouldn't if that makes sense if this was a bigger shirt if it's like a 17 and a half 18 then i might have considered it but the small size don't sell very well this could have been a decent tie. It's Jeeves and Hawks, but I don't think it's even real to be honest. Like it's that just looks real like B Tech, doesn't it? And it's 85% polyester and 15% cotton, which is like no one wears those ties like that. Everyone loves a silk tie, so yeah, Jeeves and Hawks are good ties, but I don't think that's even a real tie. I don't know why someone would even um fake Jeeves and Hawks. So it might just be like a really, really low grade one. I'm not sure yet, but um, I always like looking for ties, if there's a decent one, but I'm still yet to find a Hermes tie, a Hermes tie, or whatever you want to call it. Um, that's my goal still, so once I find one, that's when I complete reselling and then I retire. There's a couple of shirts here which could be pretty good, but that's a bit expensive, that's a Levi's tee. Just as proud of you were saying it, it's a bit different, but £5 kind of puts me off. There's this replay tee here, which is pretty cool. Um, but. I like the graphic, so I might take that one. It's just like real basic. Yeah, with replay labels, there always tend to be quite a few of them, and it always tells you the size on them as well, so. I don't think they fake it that much, but sometimes they do, so you have to kind of be careful. This is three quid. This is a Ralph Lauren tee, which is a pocket one. Nice little pocket on there, I love it. It's like real good. I always check the bottom labels of these, as long as it's like a label like this. Um, with the little supplier one at the bottom as well. You know that it's pretty legit, so that could be pretty good. That's three quid. And they've got like a polo here, but normally with these polos, I tend to leave them because it's a medium. And again, it's nothing crazy about it. There's no like, nothing like, it's just like a standard pony on it. And it's a little bit worn. In fact, look at that there, you can tell like, it's, it's talking towards that color in it. So we'll probably leave that one as well, but. What's this? That's different, isn't it? Look at that. <laughs> Whatever, Badger giving it big licks. Looks like it's a biggie Badger. Looks like he's wearing a Kugi jumper. Random, man. I think this could be pretty good. This is Exeter Chiefs rugby, rugby top. Uh, on a Samurai, uh, it's fiber. SW comms, I think that's their, obviously sponsor. Sponsor, so. Uh, I don't know how old this is or anything, but. Whenever I see a rugby top, I always pick them up because they got like a, obviously they got a good following. So there's obviously an extra rugby fan out there who's a size large that'll probably want that. So we'll give that a go. I don't know the price yet, but I'll check them when I get in. Uh, so yeah, that might be pretty good. She's made out of, she chose it, she wants it. It's a look. Linen? No. What is it? Hemp. Oh, that's different. Well, it's 60% cotton, 40% hemp made in a pole. Oh, that's like handmade then. Oh, it's got a wire on it as well. Yeah. That's really cool. It's very, we've said it's very, um, what did we say? Uh, yeah. Organic. Hello. No, um, what's her name? Pippi Longstock. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's it, Mum. Nice one, beef. I said she can have it. Yeah, Mum. Right. So I got from the shorts bit some nice standard. Nike embroidered shorts. They're not old or anything, it's just like the white label, but they're two quid. So, everyone loves a pair of shorts. So we're having them. Isn't this rug cool? Let's go walk it in. Now, like, you could say that's a Christmas tree, but it's got, yeah, it's got a moose on it. It's for bear and a moose, is it? I don't think so. No, no, it's, um, what do you call it? It's like Appalachian Trail kind of style, isn't it? That's proper cool. No, it's cool, it's cool. You having it, what? I'm thinking of a show. Okay. So I want to do a little bit yeah, of that's cool. on a show. That's cool. Adidas Ivy Park. Is Ivy Park Beyonce? Beyonce. But it's expensive though. Yeah. 
15 quid, though, isn't it? Feels good, doesn't it? Feels good, yeah. That's different. Yeah, for some reason, don't rate it on this side of the world. Like, the max price I can see is like, what? And that's a crop one, it's like 45 quid. There's other ones, but we'll just leave it. For 15 quid, it's not, it's not getting to like the 70 pound mark, so we'll just move on. Now these weird fish tops are always pretty good. Like they're always well made. I think this is like a, this is actually really nice. It's like a polo shirt kind of one, like heavy, but the price tag's a bit heavy as well. So it's a shame I would have took that if it was about a fiver. But yeah, this stuff sells good, like especially the bigger sizes. So not for a tenner though, we'll just leave it, we'll leave it. Yep. Half a bookend. <laughs> £5. I mean, I like it. Yeah, but... I need bookends at home, but... Okay, I think we've got a bit of a... Like a mini banger. So, it is Norse Projects. It's quite a new brand. Relatively new. But it's it's money, man. It's good money. Uh, it always tells you what name it is on here. This is the Neil's Logo Stack. So, it's one of their... Just like their main line types of T-shirts. These can go pretty well, so yeah, we'll take that one for definite. It's quite an in inconspicuous shirt. Proper born in USA thing, right here. Dragonfly Clothing Company. Oh, you know what? I remember, like, I think a few video, got, yeah, a few videos ago, I picked up a Dragonfly shirt, but it was Elvis, if you remember, and I think I sold that for about fifty quid. So. I think Dragonfly is the one, potentially. Yeah, it's made in Korea, so yeah, I think this is the one which they is a popular brand for big graphic shirts, so yeah. It's not July 4th, but I'm sure that'll do still. Okay, this could be pretty good. I'm not sure if, how, if it's like legit, legit, but it's Panathinaikos, I'm pretty sure it is. Um, it's a little bit cracked in the back and stuff, but uh it's got the stripes and it's got the champion not champions league it's got like that adidas thing on it but there's no adidas here so i'm not very inclined to pick it up because i don't think it's real but i don't know unless it's been scraped off or something i'm not sure but it'll normally be up here on it as dry as <laughs> candy's flip-flop what is that even allowed to you can you even say that? I don't think. Freaking Gandhi's. Orphans for orphans. I don't know what that's for. Oh look, oh. Star Wars, I'll be honest. Okay. Ooh, Star Wars. Yeah, again, this is like a like a repro. There's no Adidas on it, anyway. It's got its Adidas stripes. I think this might be pretty good. It's two pounds and it's a Sunderland of Scotland. Basically like a like a windbreaker kind of jumper for golfing it's two pound like i've seen ones which are way more basic than this that go for like what 30 40 pounds so for two pounds i think that's a i think that's a goer uh it looks quite old as well i think it's pretty vintage you know, so, so this is a vintage slazenger made in great britain with that with that b-tech rigging slazenger thing like what's it meant to be a puma a tiger i don't know what slazenger is it's a it's a slazenger, that's what it is, I don't know. Look, it's made in Great Britain. But it's slazenger, but does it not matter? Like... It don't matter, it's just old slazenger, man. Slazenger. 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 Takes me back. <laughs> so, whenever I ask for something, this should just be your response every time. Okay. I, can't, I can't read it. I can't see what you spell it for you. It's your S, Yeah. Stop. Get in bed. I don't get it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this burger house here, it's a size medium, but I think I've talked about this before, but if you can see how it's bunched up like that, it just means it's shrunk quite badly. So for six quid, I don't think it's worth even trying it. And it's got a little bit of piling, but that's never normally an issue. But it's just that, that there it tells you a lot of things. You can't really stretch it back out either, so. Got some new balance here. We bought 20 quid, so I'm not even going to consider them. They are cool though, the 50, what are they? 5740? Smart? I don't know. But yeah, it's just too expensive. 
if I was going to buy it for myself, then that's a cheap price. But again, we're in a different business, aren't we? So I was going to snatch this up super quick, but it's twenty pound. It's a boggy Milano jacket. Like I pick this up all the time. A lot of people talk about it, but it's a it's a really nice, really nice brand of jacket. Really nice. But it's got that kind of chore utility look to it as well, so it's I'm pretty sure it could be worth money, but let's see how much. Well there's one there for hundred pound. Um that was in Ukraine, that top one there, 115 or around that. It was in Poland. And then they kind of oh yeah, well there's one hundred. You know what, I might give it a go. That's such a nice camp like if you look at that, it's like real strong like tool canvas. It's just, everything just looks so well done. I did find this one here though. Well, then it's a Shikari thing. And it's on an older, it's on an older Gildan. So I think that should be okay, £2.25. Now here's a brand I've not seen anyone ever talk about, but this is Billionaire Clothing. So you've got Billionaire Boys Club, which is not this. This is Billionaire Clothing in itself. Now, when I was at the Rag House, I picked up a pair of trousers from this brand and they sold within a day for about 70 quid. So I was a bit like, okay, there's something to it. I, I can't tell you much about it. It's made in Italy, but that's about it. Um, it's made out of really good materials, just like nice cotton. It feels like a nice cotton, but yeah. That's a nice shirt as well, so I don't know. We could see how much it's worth. We'll check it out later and we'll see if it sells quickly. We'll see. Couple of bits. Do you remember that brand? Oh yeah. Billionaire. How quick did that sell? Yeah, straight I mean, away. This is your favourite one here. Sorry you're not. Oh. <laughs> here we have a wall and a hanger. A hanger and a wall. It's pretty deep. Pretty right, deep. Come on. There's actually a couple of bits which we didn't show because the time actually ran out. Okay. Grip them up, grip them up, man, show it up. You weren't feeling this, was you? This was three pound. Check the Le Shark, man, Le Shark. And it even got a shark on it, that's all it is. It's all embroidered again, that's why I love the, that's why I love the old stuff, because I don't know if it's embroidered. Um... See, I find this looks very Reeboky, but then you've got this here, Le Shark Sportive. The... They're they, trying to get they're trying they to get all they, all the pies in it. Are they copying off Lecoq's board? They're trying to get the Lecoq out and they're trying to, <laughs> they're trying to get the Reebok as well. They're trying to see Lecoq over, but Yeah, that's it, fam. Yeah. Yeah, mum. But yeah. Next one was this. Uh Duchamp, if you can see it. Duchamp shirt. That was three quid again. Nice I did stuff. think this was purple label. Did you? Ralph, when you picked it up, because if you've seen a put this purple especially. Yeah, they always go with the purple. Tricked me. Yeah. I thought you'd found a banger then, but. It's, it's a bit, do you think a banger, man? No, but I thought you'd found a Ralphie banger. Yeah, no, that's all right then. Yeah, some shirts, as you can see there, what, 65 quid for one, 60 quid, uh, 50. So I'm looking at around between like 50 and 70 or something like that. Oh, there's some Dragonfly. So it's made in Korea. So if you ever see this brand, they do all sorts of graphics. Obviously this one's just like a 4th of July thing, but, um, did I show you that one? The Dragonfly yeah. Iron Maiden one. Really cool. Yeah. 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 The I prints think that on them for, are just magic, aren't they? Yeah, I think he went for three figures that one. Um, but yeah, it's pretty good. America. America. So I was trying to work out what year it is and I, can't, I struggle to figure out what year things are. But one of the best ways I've kind of done it, which kind of whittles it down, is you look for like a newspaper article of when they signed up with Samurai. Okay. So Canterbury used to make theirs and then Bad Rhino before that. So these were made, they signed up with these guys in 2010. So at the very least, it's about 13 years old. Listed at 60 quid, it's already got a couple of watches on it already, so yeah. Nicely done. Yeah, rugby shirts are always a winner, man. It's always a winner. We found this before in... At Rag House. At the Rag House. Yeah, I found it. So I found a pair of trousers. And we thought you. it was like, at first I thought it was a knockoff of the Billionaire's Boys, is it Billionaire's Boys Club? Yeah. 
Yeah, for else thing, yeah. So I just thought, oh... We'll see. Pro- yeah, it's probably like nothing. But, but it looked like it was well-made stuff, wasn't it? No, yeah, like the button, like everything, even on the, even on like the trousers. Like it's got the square buttons, you look at the, like like just, the pattern and stuff. Yeah, like, the detail. You always know by detailing, like they've like that there, look. How many different details have they got on yeah, it? Yeah, just like it, let you know what it that's is. That's a massive it? clue to this could be something that's yeah. more luxury. But look at the wash label. Show on the wash label, man, if you can get to it. Look at that, look how posh that wash label is, yeah? You, it's giving after eight. Yeah, after <laughs> Immediately I thought, what? Have they, no, it's got nothing in it. It's like, like get a quick little, button inside quick it, little bite to eat, but oh no, it's just yeah, a button. It's just, it's a, just button. a button, oh well. But it was giving after eight. And I, it was. Honestly, when I saw that, then I was like, Got a little bit, got a little bit, didn't you? Sadly not, guys, sadly, sadly not. not. This is Billionaire Couture, so if you ever see it, it is more than worth it. So I'll show you the... I mean, look at that, just that there. The oh, embroidered yeah, bit that. on the collar. Oh yeah, I didn't see that. Like, all of the details are just Pretty crazy, sick. so... Let me show you. So this is the website, Billionaire Couture, and they're having a half price sale. So the shirts are only now £358. Oh, cheap. 400, 418 There's one here for, look at that, very similar to the one I've got. Uh, 700 quid. Half Re- price? Half price. <sighs> Deal. Bargain. Bargain. Yeah. Bargain. Deal that is. But yeah, on eBay, you're looking at like prices like around like, well, a t shirt there is £100 um, and then it's like £80, all that kind of stuff. So it's just up at the top end, isn't it? So we sold the pair of trousers that we had for about 70 quid overnight. So I think this is the final day. What do you reckon? Well, actually, I did find something this week. Oh, okay. So, speaking of Ralph Lauren purple label. Okay. Just click your finger, see if it appears. Bing. That was pretty good, that though. Well, it's it was, magic. It was pretty good. Was I'm pretty a good. witch, what can I say? <laughs> Spooky season's coming up. So, I found these at a charity shop. Look at them. Um, purple, purple label. Purple label, Ralph Lauren. They were made in the USA. Ooh. And they are 100% wool and then they're lined 100% silk. That's mad. They say size 12, so because it's USA, I think that's a 16. The luxury picker said on their show yesterday that like tailored, tailored wear right now is in. Everyone's going for more sculpted, tailored look. I okay. mean, and look at the tailoring on this, like, yeah. So, so I saw on eBay, so how much, I think these, I don't know, I couldn't tell you the price brand yet. I think they're like well into the 500, 600 pound mark or something like that. But I saw some resale at about 150 quid. They are. They're like a fiver. That. 150 quid, so. Five pound. As soon beautiful. as I saw them. They're in good like, condition as well, to be fair. I didn't actually know that you could get women's purple label Ralph Lauren. Wow, you learn something every day, don't you? Yeah. Don't but be. isn't it funny that you picked that shirt up the other day? Yeah. And I was thinking that's purple label. Put it in the then universe. Then I've been didn't thinking you? purple label. Put it in the universe, though. And I go to a charity what? shop and find a purple label. What? That's crazy. What? Put it in the universe, didn't you, love? Hey? Good size as well, though. Bang well, in size. Fact. These are a 16. Yeah, they're sick, man. They're actually sick. So, yeah. Done well there, kid. Done well, well you know, I don't know if the Harry Potter stickers beat this or not. Yeah, maybe, maybe Do you not. like them? Have you listed them yet? That's a different story. Get on it. I'm trying to grow my hair out. That's my next goal at a minute. So hopefully it's looking good. That's pretty- my Look at it. goal. Actually, you know what I mean? Yeah. It is a bit. It's getting there, isn't it? It's it, getting Jackson 5 in it. It is getting there. <laughs> yeah, do it. You need a mic. You need a mic. Actually, man. it's actually longer. I that, mean, actually, look at the length on that. Yeah, that's actually... Look at length on that. Oh, gosh. Here we go. <laughs> that's what you should have said. Okay, we're getting there. 